What's up you guys? So today we're making BDI tacos as you can see. It's boiling right there. We got some fat right here that was on, on top. And then we're gonna put our tortilla on there and kind of let it kind of cook on it. You can actually put some more fat on there. And then now these are getting heated up already so we actually can add our cheese to one side and then cheese to the other one like that and then we can start to add a little bit of the meat and these tortillas are falling apart I got the one from the top Put this baby over Add it over here, you guys. I'm gonna add all stuff over there. The food is ready, as you guys can probably tell. Oh my god, you guys see these tacos right here? Crunchy BDI tacos. My little um, consomme right here. And then got some limes right here. Sorry, lemons right here. Lime up that baby. And then I got some onion and cilantro. Pop that in there. Um, and a little bit on top of here. Guys, I'm so excited. You guys, how are you guys? Long time no talk, long time no see. Time to just grub. Oh, guys, let's just try this really quick. Let's try this little broth right here real quick. Mm. All right, guys, so this is clone Soma right here, you guys. My media tacos right here. Guys, so here are my media tacos right here. Guys, there's cheese in there too, guys. Look at that. Ooh, no cheese pull, but it's all right. It's not good. Ooh. It's, this stuff is like really hot, but it's kind of cooling down, so it's a little thicker. Because I took out a lot of the fat to um, cook the tortillas in. Mmm. Uh-huh. Wow. Mm. So crunchy, guys. You see focus, focus, focus. A leaf that we use to spice up the meat. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
All right, guys. So I have a story time for you guys. Wow. Wow. So basically, guys, if you guys do lift, y'all know it's crazy. So crazy. So crazy. Anyways, I'll, I'll be back. Let me get my other case of deer real quick. And a little bubbly. Guys, I got a case of the air right here. This is my last meal of the day. Oh, it's hot. Oh! There's no cheese ball. That's right. We'll let that cool down a little bit. Let's finish our tacos first. Story time, you guys. So you guys know that I did lift a little bit because, you know, just because my job. I wanted to, a little bit of human in, in interaction job, so I was like, I'll do lift for a little bit, you know, just to get to talk to people. Don't think I'll be doing lift again after this. I don't know. We'll see. Basically, I was at a Starbucks. As I was leaving Starbucks, I parked my car right in front of Starbucks, and I turned on my Lyft app, and then I, I, like, right when I turned it on, uh, a a ride came up. I was like, oh, cool, like, a ride, like, awesome. So I clicked accept. I guess the person was right in front of Starbucks, too. So she got, in, she was basically already starting to get in the car before I got, got in the car. I, I sit down, yada, yada, yada. I was outside, so we're um, over here where, where, where we live. We don't have to wear masks outside. It's only when you go into certain places you have to wear a mask. Like, but outside people don't wear masks. Like, only indoor. So, at this point, I was already outdoor. I was going to my car. I was like, oh, cool. I'm the front. And she was already here. I didn't know. Like, shh. She was basically standing next to my car already. Okay, so. She it, it, it reaches for the door. Like, oh, you're my lift. Okay, cool. I barely have a chance. As she, I'm like, okay, cool. So as I'm about to sit down, I'm, I'm about to put on my mask, right? Lift. Let me have to. Let me go ahead and put on my mask. You know. So I'm putting on my mask, and I, as I have it on my hand, she's already starting to get into the back seat. Her, her little ten-year-old son, and her husband, or whoever. And she's like, oh, oh, "What's your mask?" I'm all oh, right here. Let me. I'm putting it on. So why don't you have your mask on? I'm, I have my mask. I just got in the car. You got, you just got in the car. You seen me walking into Starbucks? Like, I took off my my mask. I didn't expect you to, to get in the car this fast. Whatever, you know? So, we get in the car, we're halfway to her place, she's still talking about the mask. She's still talking about the mask. She's like, well, how come you don't have a mask? She's like, people are, are dying. I'm on, ma'am. I have the mask on. You told me to, like, I just got in the car. I put on the mask. I can't drive without a mask. Yada, yada, yada. She's like, why would you even take off your mask? I'm, I'm outdoor. We don't have to wear a mask outdoor. She's like, so don't you want to um, stop the spread of the coronavirus? I'm like, yes, but I'm outdoor. I can't be wearing my mask 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 24 24/7. That I can't wear a mask all the time. I have to breathe. So as she's as I'm already halfway to her place, she's like, you're effing stupid. Yeah. I was on nope. Nope. And I already gave her a warning. I said, ma'am, if you want, if you would like, I can get you another 
a driver. You could request another driver if it's bothering you that much. She, 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 she's like, no, I'm just trying to wonder why you weren't wearing your mask. Like, I was wearing the mask. I, I was stepping outside. You got into the car faster than I did, like, whatever. So why don't you say you're effing stupid? Oh, no, man, I have to stop the ride. I'm going to drop you off right here. And at the whole point, as this buildup started to happen, her son was like, mom, stop, mom, stop. So the little boy probably already knew his mom and was already trying to say to her, stop, mom, you're already making like a big deal. This is probably, as I could tell by his tone and everything, it's like this happened before. Like this wasn't the first, I wasn't the first time that she had an issue with anyone, you know? I definitely caring, guys. <laughs> no offense to Karen's out there. I feel like Karen, you watch me, I love you so much. <laughs> If your name is Karen out there and you watch me, I, I love you so much, but yeah, so she was, um, said like, oh, you're effing stupid. Why am I going to drive you in my car? You're going to do z zero stars anyways. I said, hell no. And this dude starts to get loud. I'm not going to get out of this car. I'm going to be here all night. I was like, uh, and, and that's, that, I was like. Uh, and that's fine with me. I can wait here all night too. I have nothing else to do. And then her husband was like, yeah, I'm not gonna get out of this car. I was like, yes you are. He said, what are you gonna do, hit me? I said, no. So I stepped out of the car because she, she started to get wild. And then she said, I'm gonna call the cops. I was like, call the cops, go ahead. So go right in. So basically I called the cops first. We were parked next, next to a park. I said, hey, I'm at this park. I am a Lyft driver. This person does not want to get out of my car. They're being, they're being very uh, violent. And I'm, and I'm not going to. They have that in front of their son? Yeah, they have that in front of their son. And, and at, at this point, the, the little boy, 10 year old boy starts crying, like crying, like mom, like crying. And then she blames me for her son crying. She's telling the cops, oh yeah, he is making my son cry. He's, he's making my son cry. Mm -hmm. So basically the cops pull up, there's two officers. And the man is staring at me, the husband staring at me because he's like, oh, who's gonna run to the cop first to tell him everything that happened? So he runs to the cop first. Like, oh, what's he like? Oh, hey, please, please, please. He's making my, my, my son cry. He wasn't wearing a mask. Can you believe that we're in a pandemic and he's not wearing a mask? I'm out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, I even, like, put an email to Lyft and everything. I'm like, okay, guys, this is a crazy, crazy customer. I probably wasn't the first one. I probably wasn't the first complaint that Lyft had. So, I was like, okay, whatever. So the officer, one officer goes to talk to the other guy. Uh, other officer comes to I was like, yo, officer, you know what? This lady started to get a violent with me. She started to cuss me out in my car. I, I told her I didn't appreciate the way she was talking to me. She kept doing it. So I pulled over. I was being very respectful. I did not cuss. I did not do anything. After that, she opens my door and then she starts to slam my door when I said to, for her to get out of my car. So she starts to slam the door. I was like, oh, hell no, I have to call the, call the police. So, uh, basically, she, she, she's off. So, basically, the police officer's like, okay, you're good to go. And then after that, she started to get loud with the police officers. Um, so, you're not going to take us home then? You're not, no, so, now she's blaming the cops. Oh, you can't take us home. You can't take us home. I was like, oh, my God, this, is, this lady's crazy. This lady's crazy. Officer was like, Steven, you're good to go. Some people are really crazy about this mask thing. Yeah, pretty wild. They walked home. <laughs> yeah, her and her three kids, uh, her and her kid walked home. I'm like, if you if you just kept your mouth shut, the whole ride, I would have took you home. But she had to open up her mouth. She made a big deal out of it.
I put on the mask when she was in the car. She was mad that I wasn't wearing the mask outside in the air. <laughs> yeah. She, like, how many people, you know how many people that you walk past that probably have coronavirus and you're not wearing a mask? So you're going to uh, give that to us? She was getting very, very crazy, you guys. Like, this was like, we shouldn't name her, like, um, I don't know if you guys have, like, a fun name for this. For the story, you guys. I have other story times too. I I did do a few lift drives after that. Everyone else is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is this is the worst. Like I was, my blood was boiling, you guys. I was so heated. I was like, I have to step out of this car. Like this is this is crazy. Like, I was like, guys, I haven't yeah, I haven't encountered anything like that in a, in a while. You know, I'm I'm very respectful to people, even strangers. Um, but she was just not. She was not. She's like, are you you're effing stupid? She called me effing stupid in my own car. And I don't even know her. She, she, if she called me effing stupid, she was bound to give me zero stars anyways. No tip, nothing. But yeah, so. I don't know, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this, that story. I'm telling you guys, very, very crazy story. Alright guys, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys like this video, you all, you all want to see more cooking videos. I know this was a little bit of cooking, but not too much. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video, alright? Peace.